Hey guys, welcome to Tarot Hill. Welcome to the place where we Tarot and Hill are with the self love and unity consciousness. I hope all is well. Welcome to your new moon in Gemini reading. And uh, yeah, let's get started. All right. I come to you humbly, God, thanking you for your divine guidance, providing messages of divine light, divine love, in accordance with divine will. What is it that we need to know for the new moon? So we have movement coming out. Okay, lighting. And we have Dare to Dream. All right. Um, it's something... <laughs> The energy with this is kind of, for me, it's coming off very playful. First of all, like before I got into the energy or while I was trying to get into the energy to shuffle and, you know, meditate on it, I, um, you know, it just started raining, which put me in a very nice mood. I was, I was sitting out on the balcony and just enjoying that. And it just really put me in a very high vibrational mood. And while I was shuffling after the rain kind of slowed down, we had the Wheel of Fortune coming out. And the magician card coming out, all right? And I'm feeling this energy, like, say it with your chest. Like, when you go for whatever you want to go for, when you go for this dream, whatever this is for you, do it and mean that thing, all right? That's what I'm feeling, all right? Have the audacity, the boldness to go for the thing that you want, right? It's that saying of, you know, if your dream doesn't scare you, it isn't big enough, right? Like, be bold enough. Be fierce enough. Look at those talons, right? And the snake. Like, these are two fierce-ass energies here. This is the energy to tap into. All right. I don't know if this is a motivational speech again, but here we are. We have the Magi. Magi, whatever come now which is that magician card yeah. for some reason this dare to dream energy has this ace of pentacles it's like ace of pentacles energy coming out like it's something all right oh uh, some of you guys there's something that you want right this could be a person place a thing right whatever it's something that you want right but you might feel like it's unattainable, but it's already yours. Now I'm feeling like this eagle energy coming down and Ace of Pentacles energy is a gift from the universe, right? It's something that's already yours. So the only thing that will stop you from getting it is believing that you can have it, you know? All right. Let's just see. What is the first question? Why don't I remember these questions yet, man? All right. What have we released since the full moon? Yeah, I think that was in Sag, I believe. I think. I don't know. All right. What have we released since the full moon? Okay, so you have the Page of Wands coming out. See, this is that energy, all right, like David and Goliath type of energy, right? Let's look at your dream as Goliath. You're David, and you're like, how can I conquer this, right? But you see that there's a, a force outside of you here with this tornado. It's like David has a staff, and he strikes it down on the land and it brings down this thing mm. this is harnessing the power harnessing the power of the universe once you start working alongside it right realizing what that power what it looks like in your life when you're actually manifesting and making things happen for yourself recognizing when spirit is moving with you recognizing when it's not just you doing it 
And it's like, oh, that was some, okay, that was some help. Thank you, you know? But also knowing that you have, you're becoming, um, realizing that this power is with you always, right? These full moon readings are getting deeper and mother effing deeper, I must say. All right. Oh, this is where it came from, play and win. So I decided to wear this shirt for whatever reason, right? And I was like, okay, does this have something to do with the reading? And that's where it was like, yo, say it with your chest. Like you're sitting here, David energy, right? With the staff and you're like, I don't know. Like, do I say, let there be light? Um, abracadabra, I don't know. All right, I'm supposed to say abracadabra? Okay, abracadabra and nothing happens magician right it's like not really believing in your power knowing what the formula is right knowing that the word is abracadabra but then when you say it nothing happens because you're not saying it with your chest when you play play to win okay when you ask for something you ask it with no with the knowingness that you're going to get it right you have to move with that level of faith because that that faith that faith can move mountains right can make things happen outside of you. Can make David beat Goliath. Mm. <sighs> Where are we now? All right. Yeah, so Nine of Swords. Am I a tiger? I don't feel like a tiger. Am I a magician? I don't know. It's like, all right, you're not going to be a magician until you believe it. All right. So that nine of swords is overthinking, um, anxiety and all that. Um, so I started like, when I started explaining, like I started feeling this energy in my neck here and then in my head, you know? So I just feel like there might be a blockage when it comes to, you know, the crown area, okay? And that might be something to work on, right? Okay. nine of swords it's like i want to move forward i want to be a magician but how nine of swords with the chariot coming out here all right that's moving forward to whatever that dream is that thing that's already yours i think that's the biggest takeaway here whatever it is that you're going for is not that it's not like a um even though it might seem like the impossible or something like that the desire is there for a reason you guys were planted you were planted a seed was planted all right a seed was planted um within you for for a specific desire there's a need to believe that it's a divine desire right but there's some talking yourself out of it it seems all right what is emerging All right, that's too many cards. All right. So you have the Five of Wands coming out in reverse, which is great. Oh, with the King of Pentacles. See, this energy. All right. See, we coming out of this energy. Wait, let me not speak too soon because I get too hyped and then I go into the blockages and some bull come out. So let me, I'm going to bring it down a notch. So we have the Five of Wands coming out with the King of Pentacles. All right. It does seem like that's, like this energy, this worrying energy, because someone already knows where they want to go. They already know what they want to do. It's just a matter of the overthinking and how to take the step forward to do it. But it does seem like whatever this is, it's going, I mean, obviously it's something that you're already being led to do divinely. So it is going to work in your favor. Okay. Um, but yeah, with the five of wands, it's like finally just like, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna just do it, you know? And that puts someone into that energy of king of pentacles. There's a lot of overthinking though. Holy cow. All right. What do we wish to grow? So you have this three of wands coming up. See? Ah. Chia. Chia, 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 chia. You have the ace of pentacles coming out. I done told you. 
I didn't tell you, okay? So that Ace of Pentacles energy that I was feeling here, this divine thing coming down from the universe, it's like, and now I'm getting like, okay. There's a, okay, this energy is like, all right, what comes first, the chicken or the egg? Did the desire come first and attract this Ace of Pentacles? Or was the seed planted and then you went for it? You know, or something like that. It's something weird happening here. It's like two things are working at the same time to make this happen. Like, like it's coming, like this gift, this tangible thing is coming into your life, but it's also a result of you drawing it in. It's, it's a... It's co-creation, okay? It's co-creation. It's you working alongside spirit here, okay? But it's the realization of that, you know, that's important. So someone might have said, abracadabra, I want this thing, abracadabra, and they didn't realize that they were actually drawing it in. So then it's, that's why it's so important to, um, you know, pay attention to what you're asking for, because when it comes in, you might not recognize it, right? If you're not, I had a download about this too. Like, why do we feel, sometimes, why don't we recognize our manifestation sometimes? It sounds crazy. Like if you actually want something and it comes in, why wouldn't you recognize it when it comes? And there's a few reasons for that. I'm sure I'm not going to say all the reasons. I'm sure there are many reasons, but I feel like what it came down to was, okay, you could probably forget because it's just a flighty idea, right? So when it comes in, it's like, oh, shit, like, I thought I wanted that like years ago. I forgot about that. Yeah, I actually did want that dream. I actually did want that type of love or I, I forgot. I went through so much heartbreak that I forgot that I wanted a love. You know, that could be a thing, right? You just kind of forget. Life gets in the way. You forget about your manifestation or you forget what you ask for. Another thing. Oh, being in that mindset where you can't really, um, uh, being in a mindset where you think it's supposed to look a certain way. So that might make you overlook it. So let's say, let's bring it back to love. You're looking for a specific love, but you want it from this specific person. That will make you overlook that love if it came through another vessel, right? So that's another way we can overlook our manifestations by accident. What else? The third one. Being in the mindset of not believing that you that you saying abracadabra actually worked, right? Not believing that you can actually create, like even if you try to create it, if if it's no faith. Now, if it's something that's meant for you anyway, whether you have faith or not, if it's meant for you, like this does feel like Ace of Pentacles is a gift from the universe, right? So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Mofo, this coming through whether or not you want this, all right? <laughs> There's what you need. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just, oh, so that's another thing. If it's, if it's not, if it doesn't come through, it's like, what you think you want and is actually what your soul's desire is. So that's another thing, not being in touch with your soul's desire. Okay, see, I wrote it down too. I need to just do a video on that. This is a whole download about like, why don't we recognize our manifestations when they come? All right. Oh, okay, so that's coming out with the King of Wands and the Three of Wands here. Mm. Okay. So with the three of wands, it's like and three of wands in a verse. See, you might have tried to manifest this in a certain way and it didn't it didn't play out the way you wanted it to. Back to love. If you wanted a specific love, you dreamed about a certain love and you thought you were gonna get it with a specific person and you didn't get it. Three of wands, it didn't play out the way you wanted it to. So then you thought, oh, my magic trick didn't work. Me saying abracadabra didn't work. Me um, 
trying to manifest it. It didn't work because clearly it didn't work with this person, not realizing that it's coming through a different vessel. Okay. This could be, this could apply to a job, right? Obviously, um, like things just you, you might've wanted, um, yeah, you wanted one job, you wanted a specific job, you thought that was a dream, right? And then it comes through the, the type of, let's say, the type of lifestyle that you wanted. For example, you thought this one path can give you that, and then that doesn't work out. So now you're like, okay, I'm defeated. It didn't work. And it's like, no, it's actually coming through a better, bigger and better, okay? With the King of Wands coming out, that's that leadership energy, that's that standing in your power. That's going to give you a bit more passion. So it's like with the page of wands elevating to the king of wands, this is what's happening here. So this is like us being a baby, a baby magician, baby witches, baby wizards, right? Like just trying it out like, vini, vini, vici, you know, and it's like, okay, you did a little something, right? But this is like for the big boys and the big girls, the big non-binaries, you whatever, you know what I'm saying? The big motherfuckers out here, you know, this is what we're elevating to, to actually take what we've learned from using our magician mode for, you know, smaller things and then something bigger, like a big time dream. I keep talking about this big fish coming through, that big fish dream that's coming through. Um, but it's something about like, the other attempts that didn't work or something like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's definitely an elevation here. Like somebody goes back to the drawing board, goes back to the lab and try to figure out, all right, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's a collective energy or if I'm just tapping in uh, to something. But because it does come out with the King of Pentacles and the King of Wands, which is like confident. I know what I'm doing now, you know? All right, uh, what do we, oh. How can we bring the gold into fruition? Knight of Pentacles. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh, so many cards then came out here. All right. So when I was going through all this about the Ace of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords was at the bottom of the deck. I didn't mention it, but it seems as if it needs to be mentioned. It didn't come out again, but the Devil card did come out with the Five of Swords. Okay, they both came out upright. And it fell on top of the answer of uh, what do we wish to grow here. Um, so yeah, that's that energy of feeling defeated, right? Oh, uh, okay. So this page of wands energy is like when we're in that baby magician mode, we might have been doing things using this to for small time ish. It doesn't really matter. Like I joked in one of these videos about how and this doesn't just pertain to masculines, but <laughs> I joked about like, oh, so the masculines just got woke and they just used it to go and get some poom poom, huh? You know, this is that energy, page of wands energy. Using that energy for like, you can ask the universe for anything. And then for us to, <laughs> for us to um, <laughs> use that energy, they're like, look, what kind of life do you want to live? How do you want to live your life? You know, in general for you, how do you want to live your life? And then we go we go and uh we look at tarot readings or we do tarot readings or we use whatever our spiritual gifts are whatever that is we use this magician mode they're like ask for anything and you want anything in the world and you're like well when will that guy or girl call me back and they're like yo that's what you want to know you have you have a you have access to infinite knowledge you have access to infinite resources to create your life and you want to know if this fool's going to call you back? <laughs> so that's what's happening here. Using, using that, using that, okay, to like affirmations, like I want to find love. I want to find my divine counterpart, all that, you know, which is great. Awesome. But it's like, if we're just using, we, if we're just using that, to focus on like attracting love without using using that power to attract our healing or our higher selves. 
connection, you know. Then that's you know, it's it's like spirit is rolling their eyes like yo anything in the world and you asking about this fool who ghosted you <laughs> ah okay now five of swords with the devil card coming out so that's that energy right feeling defeated it's like look you asking for small time ish think bigger dream bigger ask for more Hmm. With that Ace of Swords coming out. Alright, let's see what's going on with that Ace of Swords. It's like you go into the bank and they're like, ask, just pick a number. How much money you want? And you're like, alright, I want, I can have any number? I'm like, alright. I just want, I just want a thousand dollars. That's it. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, look, dream bigger because even in that capacity someone might look at it like oh if somebody tells me i can ask for anything i want a thousand dollars is a good deal right that's 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 cool right it's not bad but if somebody is saying they're saying like be grander with your plans think outside of your norm so if somebody gives someone an opportunity and says choose a number and you say a thousand you say a thousand and you feel like that's a stretch, right? That's just coming from this sense of lack, right? The sense of lack, the sense of defeatism that's not grounded in truth. Is it that energy that's stopping you from dreaming bigger or asking for more? All right. So we got to cut that out clearly. Um... Knight of Pentacles with the two wands. Yeah. Let's start planning for bigger. Start thinking like long term. Like what is your vision for your life? Right? And then like think of your big manifestation. And then break it down to little manifestations. Like that's how that'll work. Right? Um, uh, something about patience here. It takes patience to plot and plan and do all the things to get to your end goal, right? Strategize. I mean, See, I don't even know why I want to say plot and plan. I feel like that's where the devil energy is coming through at. No, no, just dream bigger. I, I think as far as a plan, how that works, like that's where someone's getting caught up at. Like a dream is so big, it scares you. Great. That's awesome. But now you have to believe in your magician mode, right? And getting that inspired, attracting that inspired action instead of like, getting into this weird i feel like this is a plot and planning strategizing way too much and kind of getting caught up and getting getting in your own way because the the mindset that you're coming from when you're trying to create something is not rooted in like your your knowledge of power yet us so it seems like it's not rooted in our knowledge of power as of yet that's why we're still in this baby baby ma uh, magician mode even though there is an evolution happening for sure um but there's more growth to be had so i'm not seeing emperor empress on a board i'm seeing king energy which is great it's a level up definitely a jump up from page energy right but there's still more growth to be had here i feel like more faith and more patience is what's being required here. All right. What's the blockage? So 
something bigger, way bigger than what you want is coming. It's like a, a it's like a um a bit of a fake. Like you you thought you experienced your manifestation and you didn't. Like it's the real thing is coming. That's what I feel like. It feels hidden too. I mean, some of you guys might feel like there's a shift coming. You know, you might feel like there's something big on the horizon. I do feel like it's bigger than what you've asked for, okay? Now that's gonna be in different levels for everybody or different um uh sectors of people's lives you know whether it's love whether it's a career but there's a need to dream bigger ask for more it's like someone oh my god it seems like there's a little bit of complacency here like someone asks for something that they probably know that they can already get you know something like that it's not something they already have like a thousand dollars in this infinite pool you know somebody say choose a number it's not like they have a thousand, but they know that they can ask for that. They can believe that they receive the thousand as opposed to asking for 200 million, right? That's something that's really outside of like the realm of this person's reality, right? Whatever the equivalent, equivalent of that is, that could be a lifestyle. It could be 200 million. <laughs> it could be a lifestyle though. It could be just knowing that you can have a certain type of love okay but it's something like that like we're asking for a thousand when we should be asking for 200 million <laughs> i just feel like we're we're way off from what we're asking for all right we have like a bite size we're asking for a bite size of the actual dream it's it's just the tip of the iceberg so you got okay so that's where the seed of desire comes in the seed of desire was planted within us um and we think that that seed is it we don't see that the oak tree that it's about to become, okay? We can't see the full picture yet of what that seed really means. Ooh, okay. It's like if you get a job somewhere and then you're like, you just think, oh, this is just a regular nine to five. And then, but you don't realize uh, everything that's gonna come out of that job. The many blessings that are gonna come out of that job, you know? Yeah, see? This is, this is beautiful. Nine of Pentacles coming out here. So this is that energy of, I mean, I'm talking a whole lot of money talks. <laughs> so I'm going to say luxury here, okay? Because this is that energy of being independent, right? Getting what you want. Because you asked for it and you said it with your chest. All right? So you went and got it. Standing on your own too. Queen of Pentacles energy here, whether you're masculine or feminine. The Queen of Pentacles is confident. They know what they want. They're not afraid to go and get it. They're also not afraid to step out on their own and take risks, right? Like, not really that risky, but like, if they have conviction to do something, this is what I'm getting from this right now. This is what's needed. The conviction to do something um, or to just dream bigger. It's like having that level of confidence, even if other people might say, oh, that this dream is too big, for example. This dream doesn't make sense. It's like having the conviction because you're aware of your capabilities. You're, you're aware of your value. Okay, boom. Blockage. What's going on? It's like, even if other people aren't aware of your value, you're aware of it, and that's what's gonna propel you into getting this dream. I almost wanna say leap of faith energy, but it just feels like whatever it is that you're being led to is actually a sure bet, you know, because it's it's a destined path. That's what I feel. Okay, six of swords coming out with the two of cups and a nine of swords, holy cow. All right now. Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So we do have the King and the Queen of Pentacles coming out. Um, and then a King and Queen of Wands coming out. Uh, Six of Swords. Oh, gosh. So. 
this queen of wands and queen of swords okay we moving on up to empress okay let me tell you something right now we're getting all these queens coming out here all right now like i said i don't see an emperor or empress on the board but it's it's getting there um all right so look six of swords coming out king of cups there's a soulmate that needs to get dropped is there's or there's something that has a soul tie there's no longer love in that connection or that love in whatever that is so if this is like you're holding on to an old path and you thought that was your manifestation that was going to get you this energy if you wanted a certain lifestyle right and you thought this one this one business idea was going to give it to you and you're falling out of love with it but because you put so much into it and you thought this was the manifestation, that was just the tip of the iceberg. And it's time to walk away from that. If this is a relationship, you've learned all you needed to learn from that. And now it's it's time to walk away from it. That's what it feels like. So something that someone's holding on to and it's from, like I said, it was a previous manifestation when you were in baby magician when we were in baby magician mode we manifested something that didn't quite pan out but it it um it it happened to like water the seed even more so it could become this oak tree the seed was planted it became like a little flower or something and it withered off it's not meant to just be a flower it's meant to be a tree right so it's like recognizing what that seed is Ugh, I know it's sun edge now. Recognizing what that seed is. Like somebody gives you a seed, you don't know what species of plant it is. You just know that it's something that's supposed to grow. There's a lot of unknown here. A lot, a lot of unknown energy here. But so it's like, so it grows into this plant. And you're like, oh man, I want to keep watering this plant. And you know, now it's changing and, and it's morphing into something else. And you're like, I was just, I was so married to the idea of it being a plant. What is it now, you know? So just go with that flow. It does seem like there's some resistance to that, of the, the morphing or transitioning. However that plays out for you. This could just be the transition of your life. This could be the transition of soulmates. This could be the transition of relationships, the soul tribe, you know? Friends could be moving in and out of your life, right? And you're like, okay, this is morphing. What's happening? Your life is now transitioning into a new level. There's an evolution happening here. Um, you're stepping into that oak tree energy, right? Something more solid. All right. That nine of swords coming out again, like. Don't sit here and worry like, okay, I thought this was going to be a flower. I was used to this being a plant or a flower or whatever. Now I'm finding out it's a tree. Okay. I guess I got to adjust to that. Yeah. Um, it's like, okay, I thought this was aligned with me. And now I'm finding out it's, it's supposed to be aligned in a different way, for example. You know, I don't know. Let's look more into it. But with the King of Cups, it's like... love is shifting passion for something is shifting right so like you oh okay hold on let me get some water oh yeah 33 all right cool no i already said it um because these readings are getting too long <laughs> um pretty much like if it's love If it's love, then it's like tip of the iceberg thing. Yep, moon card. Things are hidden, right? It's certain things that are hidden. Definitely. Coming out is what you're feeling to see. Um... emperor <laughs> talk that mofo up okay um see this is a big thing that's coming through 
whether this is a person, whether this is your on your own evolution, this oak tree energy, this could be another person, it could be you, it could it could be the thing, whatever this dream is, all right, whatever that is, whatever this big thing is is coming in. Things are getting pushed out the way for this person, I want to say. Okay, I don't know. This could be a boss, whatever. This could be a job. But things are getting pushed out the way for this. the con man coming out with the ten of cups and the two of wands right this is coming out as what you're feeling to see it was something that was in the dark so we have the moon card coming through this is what you're feeling to see that there was some type of thing that came out as a as you thought it was an emotional fulfilling situation or you thought it, you, it was your ten of cups um and now you're seeing that it's not that's what's coming out um now whether this person could have pretended to be that, okay, um, you know, or not. It does with the con man. It, it, it could be someone who kind of faked the funk a little bit, all right? Oh. Okay. <clears throat> Why is this moon card here? Oh, this gives me a headache. The lover's card and the justice card. Oh, my gosh. In reverse, the justice card in reverse, and the lovers card in reverse with that moon card. <clears throat> so, here we are. This is what's going to come to light. It was somebody that you thought that they were the Ten of Cups, you thought they were going to give you that emotional fulfillment. Then you're realizing, oh, there was something very wrong with that situation, actually. Um, but it's still kind of hard to let go because it's like. You bought the seed for an oak tree. <laughs> you brought the seed from this plant shop and you thought you were going to get an oak tree. And when you planted the seed, it was just weeds. But now you're like, but I watered the crap out of these seeds. So I'm going to just, you know what I mean? I invested a lot of energy. So these are my weeds. I wanted an oak tree. Anyway, it's something like that with love. Like you thought something was going to be something more and it just, it wasn't that. It's some type of like, uh, it just feels like a, oh my God, like some hidden agenda coming to light or something like that. All right. Um, this person, uh, this person just feels like a fake. If this is if this is a person, if we're gonna talk about love here, seven of cups, it was an illusion. This conver this this whole uh, conversation I was about to say this whole thing is going left now. Like the second spread is really like getting into it. You know what I want to say? Have you ever? Um, have you ever like do you guys notice trends in like the people that you meet sometimes like energetically like you could feel like i feel like this is just another person not saying like the the experience i guess you can be in a pattern right where oh my gosh i keep meeting people who are cheaters or i keep meeting people who have narcissistic traits sure I'm not talking about that, but like on an energetic level, some of them kind of look alike and you just keep meeting them. I don't know. I just, I just want to say that. It's something like that going on, like carbon copy energies. I didn't want to go there, but I kept getting pushed to just throw that out there. Okay. So it's like you met, you met like a, a false, oh, so like, you know, when they talk about false twin flames or whatever, I don't want to talk about that too much. 
I don't like throwing that word out there. Because not, you know what I mean? I don't want to go down that rabbit hole. But it's something like that. Where it was like, it was, it was a false one. A false soulmate. Someone who kind of like hacked their way in, you know? <laughs> but th this person, this person had traits that's going to remind you. Um, they had traits of what your soul was actually looking for. Your soul's desire. So your soul is looking for your your divine counterpart right so when you're when you start seeing someone who has these types of traits of what your soul knows to be true if somebody's like kind of copying that energy it's gonna it can look it can kind of hack it a little bit right i think we talked about mimic mimics before <laughs> all right I didn't want to go down that route, but that's what it feels like. All right. Especially with that con man energy. So you're going to, uh, because this person might've been like a bit of a mimic. Okay. They, they were a bit of a carbon copy. They weren't the real thing, but they, they were, they had traits of it. So you saw this person like, okay, this person has every has a thing that I want, but it probably didn't really click the way it was supposed to when you actually, as if you, as like when you actually meet someone who is clicking with your soul, right? So this, this person does, didn't feel completely right because they were in con man energy. They weren't being their authentic self. They were mimicking an energy that your soul actually desired. What the fuck am I saying? Holy cow, this is going. Hmm. Okay. See, I didn't want to go down that rabbit hole. <laughs> it's, it's that one. It's that one uh, metaphor I keep using, the, the Hershey's chocolate versus like high-end chocolate, right? <laughs> it's like you taste Hershey's and you're like, yeah, all right, this is what chocolate's supposed to taste like. Until you have like high-end chocolate and you're like, oh, oh, that's just like a watered down version of the real thing. That's what's happening or that's what's had, what has happened, but someone's hung up on the watered down version. Okay, I think we got it all out. All right, so let's add like this. <laughs> Man, let's add advice here. There was definitely some illusions here. Um, but when this thing comes in, uh, I don't know. Um, there, I don't know. Cause I'm, I don't know. All right, fuck. Sorry. We have the Nine of Cups coming out, which is beautiful, wish fulfillment energy with the Devil card. That mimic energy tainted this energy. That thing that's coming in. All right. For example, see, because of the past, the past energy, the past manifestation, because it didn't work out. It's causing toxicity in the actual thing. All right. You wanted to be an entrepreneur. You went for a business idea. It didn't work. You put work into it. It didn't work. Now you get another opportunity to be an entrepreneur. But because of the perceived failure of that last dream, that last business idea. It's causing toxicity in how, you, how you're perceiving the new idea. If this is love, 
you went for love, you went hard at it. It didn't work. You meet someone else who makes you feel it's something about, it's something similar, right? It's like, it's still something that's within the same energy, right? So entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship, but if it's a person, it's something about it that, that it could just be love, right? The fact that you tried for love didn't work, but someone inspires you to love again, right? Because you can meet someone else and not be inspired to love. You could just be inspired to, right? But someone inspires you to love again. And that takes you back to the last time you were inspired to love like that. Okay. And because of that didn't work, it's making you add this toxicity because this time it's real. Hmm. Damn, we're doing this as a collective? Shit. <laughs> oh, man. We got to get it together, guys. Holy cow. Whether you're still um, talking to the previous person or holding on to the previous business idea, I don't think that part matters too much. It's just, you're still, we're still hung up on the previous manifestation, even though it's pretty much done. Okay, well, I mean, we ain't gotta end it like that. Shit. All right, this power animal. 46. So we're hung up on something on the in the past. We're hung up on a previous manifestation where we got bamboozled. We bought a seed from the plant shop. We thought it was going to be the thing that we wanted and it wasn't. And because we got bamboozled with that, we lost faith in love or in our power to manifest, whatever the case is. And, it's, and now there's a real one. The actual manifestation is coming through. What you actually went to the, the seed that you went to the plant store for. Someone's like, the universe is dropping that in your lap. And you're like, yeah, this isn't it. You're not going to trick me again. All right. What is the animal spirit? Cow spirit, the miracles are endless. It's the energy of dreaming bigger, right? Um, believing, because when we start saying words like miracles, right? We're talking about things outside of our realm of perceived reality or our what we believe is possible for us. As I mentioned, if the genie says choose a number and you say a thousand, they're saying choose to go for 200 million, right? It's something like that, like bet on yourself. Mm. It's not even betting on yourself. Bet on the universe. Because this is David and Goliath energy. If David, David couldn't slay that, it wasn't a dragon, it was a giant, right? Couldn't slay that giant with his own physical strength right it was a freaking giant it was a power it was a miracles it was a power the magic that's what made it happen so recognize that for what it is recognize the powerful what uh the spiritual power um the universe the universal power source energy realize what it can do for you um, because once you realize that, you'll realize there's no need to start overthinking. Nine of Swords energy. All right. I think this is just a reminder. Because it does feel like magician mode, but it's like, it's just evolving. Evolving as a magician. 
learning how to use the power and the blockages that are getting in the way that's stopping us from fully like embracing magician mode, right? Time to heal, snake spirit. 55, yeah, it's a major shift. Um, once you let go, once you let go of that, uh, that past manifestation, it's going to be a major shift. It breaks the major cycle, which opens up the door to that big thing that falls in your lap, whatever that is. When it comes, I, I feel like you'll recognize it, to be honest. I feel like with this type of energy, for some reason, I don't think it's going to make a subtle entrance. I don't know. I don't know what's happening here. I'll be doing these readings. I'll be getting a message. I'll be like, oh, where? Tell me more. I'll be getting the readings. Like, y'all getting the readings. I don't know what I'm saying. what's happening here. All right. Um, Beaver Spirit. Lay solid foundation. Mm. So, as I mentioned, like, I feel like this can come in with a boom, right? I don't feel like it's going to come through subtly. But you do have to be in a mindset to accept it, right? So back to like, why do we miss our manifestations or why don't we recognize it when it comes? Like, this can fall in your lap and you can accept it and not realize that this is your oak tree. You can real, you cannot realize that this is the gateway to your the lifestyle that you want, the love that you want, you know? It's something like that. I don't feel like someone's not going to take this. I do feel like we're going to take it. We're going to take this opportunity. I do feel that. But it's just not realizing what it actually means, how big this is. It's like dating someone, and you're like, oh, we get along pretty well, and not realizing, like, Oh, that's my life partner, right? It's it's gonna. It might take a while to really see what that is. Wow. All right. Well. All right. Well, as long as it's coming. All right. <laughs> this reading gave me a headache. Um. Yeah. I'm definitely getting all this um anxiety energy. This uh headache energy. Don't overthink it. This isn't something for you to overthink. This isn't something for you to try and make happen. This is some magic stuff happening here, okay? Um, and when I say magic, it is, uh, it's a blessing. That's, a, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's a blessing coming, probably coming out of left field and it's for you. It's a blessing. You deserve it. It's not a trick. You're not getting punked, right? Because I do feel like there's a little bit of PTSD going on with that, all right? Like, I've been through this before. I'm not doing this again. But this is a real one. All right. I'm going to pull from the, the Romance Angel. Obviously, this does not have to... Um, be a love reading, right? It can be about anything. The bottom line is we got to let go of the past manifestation so the new one can come in. Yeah, yeah, see? Oh, it's something hidden. It's going to come from left field. Keep an open mind, all right? Set. You have to be in the foundation. You have to set the... Be in the right mindset so you don't... I don't feel like you're going to miss it, but you can sabotage it, right? Because I feel like the, this thing comes in, it falls in your lap, you'll take it. But how you handle it moving forward, would you recognize it as your manifestation? Or would you just treat it like whatever, right? Keep an open mind, be in a positive... Be in a more positive attitude because the devil card is coming out upright along with the five of swords. So it does seem like there's this defeatist energy happening here. Um, you might get triggered, right, um, by this. 
it might trigger you into a, a toxic mode right so like if a love comes along and you're just like yeah you're not you're not gonna play me i'm not gonna get played the fool i'm not boo boo the fool i'm gonna play you before you play me and just because of that now you just played yourself and messed up a real thing right so there's a need to be in a in a better mindset here so we can keep an open mind whenever this comes and we don't sabotage it um yeah accepting it i don't think accepting it is going to be the hard thing i think keeping it <laughs> keeping it is like that's what it feels like here not messing it up <laughs> uh being triggered and not sabotaging um but yeah also this says your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation so i did talk about that like that's another reason another way we might miss out on a manifestation especially if it's love if you if you're uh, convinced that this person this one person is your ten of cups and it's supposed to come through another vessel you might be you know you might be messing it up that new vessel comes through and you you like tossing that to the side and that's a, that was your your oak tree right your ace of pentacles but we do have engagement see this the level of evolution your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment all right so something is definitely moving um and it's coming in if it comes in like it's just it it's gonna come in and you it, i feel like it's gonna be a no-brainer but you might get triggered and you might not realize why it's happening uh, or why this came in and I feel like the realization of what this is all depends on um, the level of awareness that you're in also the level of high vibration that you're in like if you're in this poverty consciousness or if you're in this lack mentality if you're in this energy of nobody loves me then when real love comes in you're like why do you love me mm, I'm sabotage right but if you're in this energy of feeling loved and, you know, ready to accept love, then you'll accept that love that comes in, right? Same with money, right? So it's something that's definitely being... <sighs> it just feels like the real deal. Wow. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Spirit said, let me, let me tell you something again. Let me... I'm going to say it with my chest real quick. Hold on. Release your ex. <laughs> oh, my God. And wedding. All right. So, speaking of life, all right. Yeah, it's some big thing, right? Like, you might meet someone. You might not realize, oh, that's my life partner. Um, they might trigger you into sabotage. But, you know, something like that happening. Release your ex. See, someone's still hung up on their ex when a new one is coming in, and that's the real deal. Someone's trying to make the ex be the person. Um, hmm. They're trying to make the ex the manifestation, whether this is an ex-partner, whether it's an ex-business idea. When there's a new idea or a new partner coming in that's giving you exactly what you want. So it's like not being stubborn and having that resistance towards what the universe is bringing you. It's also a realization that, hey, I'm being a little bit stubborn here, right? I want this. I put work into this. You're telling me it's over there now? Forget it. You know, but you got to just, <laughs> you got to work with it. All right. You got to be flexible. Keep an open mind here. All right. All right. Well, some good good ish is about to happen that is going without saying yeah trust um have faith so you're being led to something out of the ordinary just go with it all right all right guys i'm done here back to cocooning i'll see y'all later um the june readings will be out next week all right till we meet again